Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jose here. Today we're going to be doing a little fun test. We're going to be doing an efficiency test on my Rivian R1T here. Um, so a couple of months ago, I changed out the tires that I had on my Rivian. Um, originally, they came with a 20 uh, inch uh, Pirelli all-terrain tires that Rivian sells. Uh, I had some issues with them. You know, they wore incorrectly. And so I ended up swapping them out. And so I swapped them out for something a little bit more aggressive. Uh, I went for the Nito Ridge Grappler tires. Uh, same size, they're 275-65 R20. Um, they are heavier. They're about 15 pounds heavier per tire than the stock Pirelli tires. Uh, and so I have been using them for a couple months now. I've definitely noticed a decrease in range uh, due to the tires being heavier uh, as well. And so I wanted to take a little trip today, uh, do like a round circle trip, uh, you know, maybe about 50-ish miles round trip uh, on highway, on conserve mode, to see what these tires would look like in a real world example. Uh, and so we're going to be doing that today here. Uh, so join me on this. Uh, I will we'll jump in the truck here in a second. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and show you a little bit of the tire. So let's take a peek at those. All right. So you join me here in front of my Rivian. Uh, these are the Nitto Ridge Grappler 275-65 R20 tires that I got. So again, they are the stock size, same size that Rivian sells with their Pirelli all-terrain tires. Uh, but they're definitely more aggressive, as you can see. They have a thread pattern on the sidewall here that's definitely more aggressive looking. Definitely more aggressive here. These are considered hybrid tires, uh, so they're not mud terrain and they're they're not highway, so they're kind of like a hybrid in between. Um, I've had people ask me, hey, you know, have you noticed an increase in sound in the truck? And actually, I have to say, a pro here with this is that I have not, you know, in fact, I probably think they're a little bit quieter than the Pirelli all-terrain tires uh, that Rivian puts on their truck. And so anyways, I've had these now for a few months, so they've had a couple of miles on them and uh, yeah, we're going to take a, a ride. But yeah, they these are way, you know, somewhere in the, in the neighborhood of 58 to 60 pounds, if I recall correctly. And so um, each tire. They do have a higher load capacity as well. So, and and you can pump them up to 80 PSI. Uh, right now I have these set at 48 PSI, which is the recommended manufacturer's PSI that you'll find on the on the truck. And so I decided to go with that so that we're, you know, we're we're testing with the manufacturer's recommended uh, PSI. So this is what the tires look like. Um, again, have them all over the place all, all four tires so we're gonna jump in the truck now and uh, let's take a peek and uh, we'll get going all right you join me inside my Rivian here we're on the about screen here as you can see 22,954 miles on the odometer thus far we're gonna go ahead and reset our trip B here in a second to get going on this trip but we're gonna do a loop um, as you can see, it is about 22 miles one way, and then we'll get back on the highway and return to our same spot that we have here. And uh, we'll be able to kind of test what that looks like. I'm going to drop the car into conserve mode. We're going to keep it on standard. I do not have auto set up. Um, the whole reason I don't have auto, uh, auto height set up is because that does do some uh, damage on the tires. You know, the uneven wear, and that's the issue I had and why I had to replace the tires I originally had. <clears throat> right now, we're at 69% state of charge. The computer is saying 221 miles on conserve mode in standard height uh, on these tires. So, if we go into here, uh, oops, sorry, wrong screen. Whoop. By the way, and we'll just go into the um, energy screen, but again, range base. I've, I've driven the truck now enough that these should have updated now that being said anybody who has 20 inch all-terrain wheels uh, that comes with the the stock ones knows that it will always say on conserve full charge 313 miles I can guarantee you that that's not right um, I have not been able to get 313 miles on these tires obviously um, and so yeah that's just you know, a little fun fact there but anyways let's go ahead and go into settings 
we're gonna go ahead and reset our trip B here. So that should clear out all of that. And then um, when we get to the halfway point of this trip, we'll go ahead and um, jump in and, and see where we are thus far. getting ready here to get to our halfway points just got off of cruise control so we're getting off here I just wanted to share some details so 21.8 miles total distance 57 miles per hour average speed we were doing 70 22 minutes our efficiency is 2.09 miles per kilowatt hour and we use a total of 10.5 kilowatt hours for this uh, this like of our trip so we're gonna hop off here on the highway now. We're gonna get back on the highway, go back the other way, and uh, we'll see what we end up when we get uh, back to our final destination. guys we completed our trip I wanted to show you here the stats so we've got 44.1 miles our average speed was 58 miles per hour it's a 45 minute trip our efficiency was much better coming back we had a good tailwind 2.18 miles per kilowatt and we used a total of 20.2 kilowatt hours of battery reminder we left with 68% on the battery we are at 55% with 175 miles on the range meter uh, Again, we were driving in conserved mode, had AC set to 70 uh, degrees, auto, almost at that 23,000 mile mark. We'll definitely hit it here uh, before I get home today. 95 degrees, it's a little warm out there for noon, but it'll only get hotter here in Central Florida. So as you saw, I mean, they're not terrible but they're not gonna give you the best efficiency. You know, we did a test, 70 miles per hour on the highway. You know, at the end of the day, that's probably a little slow. You know, most people are probably gonna be doing 75, 80 miles per hour when they're we're on the highway. You know, we just kept it at the, at the speed that, um, you know, felt right. Um, but definitely had a lot of cars passing me, as you will see, you saw in some of the B-roll that I shot there. Um, and so, you know, you're gonna be driving a little slower, especially if you're on the highway taking on a road trip. Um, you know, you can obviously get better efficiency if you want to slow down. You know, I'm sure at 65 miles per hour, you could probably get better efficiency, uh, but that's up to you, right? What do you feel safe with? What do you feel comfortable with? Um, I definitely would probably drive, you know, between 75 and 80 miles per hour when I'm taking a road trip on a highway, try to keep up with everybody else and everybody who's driving, you know, around me, especially here in Florida where everybody drives really fast on the highways. So that's, you know, something to take into consideration. Um, do I recommend these tires? You know, if you're looking for something more aggressive, if you're looking for, for something that, you know, will do well off-road and on-road, yeah, they're great tires. Nido, Nido tires are, are fantastic. They make fantastic tires. They make a variety of tires. Um, they make street tires. They make all-terrain tires. They make mud-terrain tires. Uh, and I've had some of their uh, their tires in other vehicles of mine, uh, not just the Rivian. So, you know, they're, they're really good tires. Um, if you're looking for something, you know, that, that's going to be very efficient and give you, you know, the max range, th these are not it right this is strictly for look you know they they are uh they're, they're good tires um they look great they look aggressive i've got a lot of compliments about how aggressive they look but but they're not efficient right so you know my personal take is if you're looking for efficiency these aren't it uh but if you're looking if, if, if efficiency is not something you care about uh, go for it right they're fantastic tires now, what's next for me? Well, I love these tires. They look great. They look aggressive. But 
I'm looking for something more efficient. You know, I want to do road trips and I want to continue to do some testing for you guys and, and posting on here. So uh, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm looking at some all season tires. Um, you know, I've, I've reached out to a couple of different tire manufacturers to gather information. And so far, uh, Nokian tires uh, make a tire called the 1HT. And the 1HT is um, designed to be lighter than even the stock Pirelli all-terrain tires. And not only are they lighter, uh, they're all season, uh, but also they have a higher uh, gross uh, or tire load, I should say. So uh, I'm going to be looking to get those. I'll be, I'm going to see if I can purchase them here and get them installed. Uh, and the goal is to be able to bring you guys another efficiency test on those tires. What do all-season tires look like? on 20 inch uh, Rivian all-terrain rims. Um, how do they act, right? Ideally, <clears throat> this would probably be your best optimal efficiency, you know, an all season tire with these wheels would probably be the most efficient you can get. Um, so we'll give, we'll, we'll test those out. You know, we'll see what that looks like. And um, yeah, so, you know, we'll be, I'll be bringing that review here in a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so, it just depends on, on, you know, trying to get those tires uh, and then getting them installed. I'll keep these around. Obviously, you know, we'll, we'll keep them. And, you know, if I ever decide I want to swap back in, you know, I can absolutely do that. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how they go. And so, you know, that's really, you know, the Jose's take is if you're looking for something aggressive and awesome, you know, go for the Needle Ridge Grapplers. They're, they're, they're awesome tires. Uh, if you're looking for maximum efficiency, these definitely are not it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that, that's kind of where I'm at with this. Um, you know, and, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, leave them in the comments below. I'll be answering questions down there. Uh, please go ahead and like our video and subscribe so we can keep growing the channel and keep bringing you some awesome content. Uh, so thanks again for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you next time.